Tired of the empty, bloated, caloric content most streamers pass off as entertainment? Unsatisfied with stale, bland, painfully average shows that any computer-generated AI can spit out? Sick of paying way too much of your hard-earned money for the same old garbage in this economy? Well, Mecha Random 42 has just what you need. From live streams to games, you'll get nothing but the best unscripted entertainment YouTube has to offer. When you become a member, you'll support a truly independent content creator for just pennies a day. You don't need YouTube's algorithm to tell you what to watch. Bookmark the channel today and become a member. You'll thank yourself. You know how I've been saying some of these writers don't deserve anything in the writer's strike? I saw Willow, at least a TV series, and uh, I don't think they deserve anything in the writer's strike. I am Mecca. Please subscribe to this channel or else. And uh, actually, actually, I probably don't. <laughs> I probably don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with a bunch of dumb stuff like this thing, article, people, writing. <laughs> Was this written by people or AI? Was this written by humans? Should I be in the full dumpster fire background video mode? The there we go. Should I be in the full mode? Because are we going to go? Are we going to go? Are we going to go on a little rant? Am I going to start speaking in tongues? Am I going to start pulling up from the ether? Am I going to start pulling it out of the universe? Am I going to start chanting? Am I going to start drawing circles on the floor and summoning spirits with magical notes and incantations? What are they? Why are they? What do they mean? And magic woods and boards and things that can only summon the most weirdest thing like little girls yelling about Huwatha, Hiawatha, or Nikti, Nikju. I don't remember. That was part of Willow. That was part of Willow if you know it. I made it about halfway through Willow before we got to the point where we just couldn't watch anymore. And we were watching it and we were mocking it and it was weird and bad and cringy and you know what even Forbes says it's bad. This is your last chance to see how bad. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at this. It's your last chance to see how bad the new Disney Plus Willow show is before it's gone for good. You, no, trust me. If you really want to see the Willow show, if you wanted to see it, you saw it already. You, you grabbed and saved every single episode. They'll probably have some sort of Blu-ray or DVD, but this is Disney. So if you want it, you know, and want to keep it somehow, I don't know what you do anymore. Do you download them or do you record them on a DVR still? I don't know. I have no desire to keep and save Willow. Well, you're going to have to suck it up. Oh, not the TV show. It was bad. It was crap. It was crappity crap, crap, crap. What do you want to tell me? Things are not great over at the House of Mouse, despite having some of the most popular and profitable franchises around, from Marvel to Star Wars and the whole Disney princess thing. The company has faced major losses of recent years, thanks in no small part to streaming expenses. Oh yeah, and they're gonna dump a bunch of these, and they're not gonna get rid of probably the Marvel ones. Go, 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 go. Those tend to be pretty profitable. They are gonna sneak Willow off of there. I wonder if they'll get rid of Shulky off in the background somewhere, maybe. Possibly. Here you go. The writer, quote unquote, says, hey Forbes, get aft. Grow up. Write something better than Willow. This is the guy who wrote Willow? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The they, them, guy, he, him, pronoun person. Writer on strike, formerly from Willow and Disney Plus. Do better. You know what? Do better. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't believe that half of these shows weren't written by AI. I really, really don't. Prove you can write something. Come up with it off the top of your... See, I go live with no script almost every single day. Please subscribe to the channel. You never know what you're going to get. You might get yelled at. 
if you if you if you start on the you're a this and you're a that and you're an hysterophobe or a, or a you're a oh you're a G word or or you're a or you're a ooh, you're a harpy you're a harpy and you're not gonna go with our agendas and you're gonna call out all the stupid on all sides of the aisle because you are an individual. I'm not. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. I might just be pulling from the universe right now. My voice is going. I feel it going. I think I have to cough for a second. Here, we're going to cut away to something. From Lucasfilm, the studio that killed Han Solo, emasculated and then killed Luke Skywalker, and killed Princess Leia off camera, comes the epic fantasy. No, not Lord of the Rings. That's being ruined over at Amazon. The franchise that you kind of remember because Val Kilmer was in it, but now they just turn him into an absentee father. Willow. Meet Princess Kit, an entitled, bratty, Gen Z character that for some reason is living in a medieval era. Kit's betrothed to Spider-Man's obnoxious fanboy, Flash Thompson. But she has to be gay because diversity. Now she'll have to prove her worth to her true love, Envy's Nest. Together, they'll fail to stick to the era-specific dialogue. Well, you're gonna have to suck it up because I'm not gonna be able to survive this thing without you. It's mm. like the one way you're totally consistent. Whoa, 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 wait. And set off with a crew of extras to find the title character who only appears in the last five minutes of the first episode. Wow, this is really bad. I thought Obi-Wan was terrible. This outdoes it by a country mile. And why do you insist on putting Aaron Kellyman in action properties? She's not convincing in anything. And she can't f act. You might as well call her Aaron Go Away Little Girl Kellyman because that's what they actually say to her. Starring the worst group of G4 canceled X Play DD players in history in World of Warcraft. You guys are pretty daft to follow us, considering we're all gonna die. The show was bad enough, but did you really have to include dwarf tossing? <laughs> Seriously. And when you are swimming through the filth of your Disney Plus subscription, be sure to check out or not the Willow franchise. It's your last chance to see how terrible it is. You will see all the they, them pronoun people who are probably a couple or something. You'll see these little entitled princessy girls going around going like, oh my God, you're Mad Mardigan. Oh my God, you're not Mad Mardigan. Where's Mad Mardigan? Like, are, are you totally like not Mad Mardigan? Is that the guy's name? I don't even remember. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I can tell you this one though. This one was crap on a cracker. And that's not a good thing. Now, that being said, when the show is being axed as the brand new Willow series. See, I would say this is about as bad as, um, Dilly no, 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 this show wasn't very good. This show was very cringy. It was very much, it didn't know what it wanted to be. And I think that that might've been the problem with Willow anyway. I think that, Willow, much like Star Trek and a lot of these things, are niche of a niche of a niche. And to try and grab enough audience for something so niche like Willow that you're going to try and pull in enough people on Disney Plus. You got to admit that at this point, it was just empty content and filler. And the fact that these quote unquote writers are not getting another season of it. I don't really feel too bad. This was just treated as empty content anyway. They probably didn't pay these writers very much to begin with. They probably crapped this out on a shoestring budget, much like they do most of these. They shoot them on this volume software anyway where they can render it in real time. And this this stuff, I mean, it's just empty content. And at least they're re-strategizing all of this for streaming in the very near future because they're realizing that if people just want empty mindless content they'll just sit on youtube and listen to somebody go, 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 go. i'm going back to my live chat don't you go anywhere thanks for watching if you liked it make sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye